You know, you can look, we are coming from what hundreds of years right now of rational thinking. Mm -hmm. So we live in a modern culture that values the rational and devalues the mythological and the poetic and the imaginative. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so sure. I mean, imagination's fake, but what's, what does that even mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I built a whole career off of my imagination. <laughs> Is it a fake career? No, <laughs> it's not. It's real. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and like, are, are all of our children fake because they're playing in their imagination all the time? Or are they like really reminding us of our like innate sense of being? Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, so like an, an, an adult who basically says like imagination is fake is really someone in need of probably a lot of love. <laughs> yeah, and play and, and ritual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and 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 also like you know as i said the core the heart practice the heart skill of morning altars and also of my teaching is wonder mm. a man by the name of rabbi joshua heschel calls it a uh, radical amazement practice mm. of being radically amazed by life mm -hmm. you know miracles to be actually look around at the mundane parts of your life and to see miracles the water running through your faucet the fact that you have food in your fridge the fact that this flesh body is breathing and keeping you alive mm -hmm. you know there are these things we take for granted but they're truly just miraculous and part of our job in our humanity is to continue to look not forget mm -hmm. remember the mm -hmm. smallest things absolute miracles mm -hmm. and our imagination is one of those miracles mm -hmm. the fact that we can imagine what isn't there and you know i'm not going to label this more than artists but there have been many cultures who have had many other names for artists mm -hmm. in their cultures and they were held in high esteem because they were the ones that basically repaired the culture Mm -hmm. The word artist etymologically is a clue. Do you know? Uh, can I tell yeah, you what that yeah, word is? Yeah, probably don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? I, yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah, I don't. I the don't word know. the word artist comes from the word RT. It's just Proto Indo European word, which means to fit back together again. Mm. So it's an interesting po point of it's something to interesting interesting to investigate to fit back together. Think about like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> right the rhyme humpty dumpty humpty dumpty sat on a wall humpty dumpty had a great fall all the men's horses and all the men's all the king's men couldn't put humpty back together again mm -hmm. the artist's role is repair mm -hmm. healing mm -hmm. to take the displaced and to bring into order or into something recognizable mm -hmm. take things that don't make any sense and to bring sense to them mm. or awareness. Mm -hmm. So this is the role of an artist. This is also happens to be the co-purpose of ritual. Mm -hmm. yeah. To bring sense to things that make no sense sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So art, creativity, imagination, mm. don't just have a role to play in ritual. They're the base function of ritual. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever been in a ritual that's completely stale or flat or dead. Mm. I have many, 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 many times mm -hmm. because yeah. it's missing that creativity. It's missing the aliveness. It's missing the fact. It's missing its capacity for imagination yeah. to call for the imagination from the people. 